Hey guys, welcome back. It's Aim Plays here today. We're back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I will be showing you how to make a giant pumpkin slash jack o' lantern in Minecraft. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button. Now, let's begin. Orange. It can be wool, terracotta, concrete. I'd suggest concrete or wool though. Orange, anything. A lime color. And a green color. And then if you're going to make a jack lantern, I'd suggest having a jack lantern or something that glows. But a jack lantern is probably one of the best. And then grass blocks just for me in case I make any holes. So, first. You will want to place oh yeah, the orange concrete in a 3x3 three three square, and then on every end, add three more. So it looks something kind of circle, you could say, something like that. Once you have that, let's, uh, what am I doing? Um, go diagonal by one and up one. And then you just want it to circle the entire thing. So, like, a ring around the squarish circle that I made earlier. Uh, there we go. So it looks like that. Now, you'll want to bring, go diagonal and up one to bring all five of those all five of those and do it on every side I don't know how to say it all five of those blocks the orange concrete or wool just bring it up and diagonal by one on every single side like this so you have that now just add one for the corner so it looks like this Okay, now, add one up for all of it, and, well, not add one, but make it go up by six, wait, um, at four, five, six, so you have this, and you will want to do that on every side, but I'm not going to do it just yet, so I can show you what I'm doing first. You want to extend it out on the by one on the middle five, so it has this texture to it. And you want to do that on every single side. I'll do it again on this side so I can show you. Up by six. Is that too much? <clears throat> there we go. Up by six. So let's just finish doing that on all these. And then, in the middle five, go out by one. Like that. Now, I probably won't talk during this part. Or I may. So, I'm just going to do it on the other side, though. So. Okay, one side done. Now for the last side. Mm, there we go. So it will look something like this. You're really just making a big circle. Oh, sphere. That's what I mean. Sphere. And then you can add one diagonal on the top. Now, from here on out, you need to just mimic what's on the bottom. 
for what's on the top. So, like the ring around it, and that ring. <sighs> Almost. I can't get these blocks in the right area, right spot for that ring. And then, up oh, diagonal, and just for the final square slash circle part. Don't know what I should call it. It's kind of a mix of both. But there's that. Pumpkin's not done yet. For the stem, wait, what's it called? Stem, whatever. You can really do whatever you want. If you want to use a brown color, you can, but I'm just going to do something like this. And then, and time to decide if you want yours to be a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin. But you really just want to do this kind of thing on all the sides. Except for one if you want a jack-o'-lantern. So, like... Like the same thing that you did for the top and the bottom. That circle, sphere, thingy. Whatever it's called. So you have this. And then let's do it again on this side. Also, this is when you decide. If you're doing a jack lantern, you need to decide where's the front going to be. I don't... My front will be the opposite way from the cow. So like this. And you should have it just like this. You have the main pumpkin look, except for this side. <laughs> now, if you're making a jack lantern, just follow the rest. If you're making a regular pumpkin, just add one of these little things on this side. And for the jack o' lantern, decide what you want the face to look like. And there. So place the block. And then you have something like that. That's going to be my eye, by the way. Uh, there. There you go. And then... You make it... I don't know. Maybe sad. Upside down smiley face. So, like... that oh that's so sad but that's really what, what you want for there let me go to the back because i believe i saw a hole here for some reason cover that hole up but then you also you can if you want if you don't think you're going to be going inside of your jack-o-lantern or pumpkin then you don't have to do this but i'm going to be all you have to do is really just delete the extra, just delete the extra concrete or whatever you used. And that's all. I'm surprised because I didn't need this grass block <laughs> to fill in anything. Please subscribe and hit that like button. And if you like this pumpkin, you can comment down below or anything like that. Or if you, f or if you feel sad for this jack-o'-lantern, I may. It's got a sad face. <laughs> well, then subscribe and bye. <laughs>